We're going to have an interesting video today at Peatlands Park, a lovely park with so many places to walk and for kids to play. Looking out, it's a great big god. <laughs> against me. Ready to go for a walk around Peatlands Park, see what we can see, see what we can hear. G'day boys and girls, I'm in Peatlands Park today and just outside Loch Gaul and this is a wonderful place to come and I'm stuck in the mud, well it's not really the mud, it's a bog and that's where we get turf from. So today we're going to talk about turf and we're going to talk about peat. And this Peatlands Park was a really, really nice play park. It's probably one of the best play parks I've ever seen. It's so adventurous, you can spend probably hours really, really enjoying this play park. But here's the big sign when you arrive, you know where you are because you've come to Peatlands Park. This is, of course, the Environment Agency runs this place, it's free to come to and it's really well looked after. It's a great place to come for nature hikes, nature walks, it's a peatlands, there's water, there's lakes and of course you can learn the history about bogs and about turf and peat. So in this park there's over 670 acres for you to enjoy for your family, your grandparents, your parents, children. So you can explore, you can run, you can hide, you can make sure you stay on the pathway and look out for the birds, look out for the insects, you can see so much different flowers, trees and of course there's a railway track and there's a play park where you can actually spend hours on this play park. So I'm just walking around the, the Peatlands Park here. It's a huge, huge park and lots of bog land but it's been preserved for people to learn about peat and turf. Now if you imagine sitting in the fire in your living room at home if you have an open fire and you might burn coal or firewood and sometimes you burn peat. These are natural resources which, which produce a lot of heat but it takes a lot of work uh, to get these natural resources out of the ground. Whenever you think of uh, peatlands here and you imagine it, it, they grow on very damp 
moist type of bog land and it has to be cut off and then it's turned over and it dries because it's very soaking soaking wet and whenever it's turned it's turned over then it dries out then it's cut into nice wee shapes often rectangles put into a bag when i was 17 18 i used to buy turf bagged used to buy it for a pound then i would sell it for two pound around my neighbors used to go in the, the tractor and trailer then i got a little van and I would, I would sell it especially in the winter time and doubled my money people like turf because there's a nice smell from it and it's not so common as coal or or, or firewood but turf and peat is a nice uh, extra you'd put in your fire but here peatlands have stopped cutting the turf it's all being cut it's now preserved so children can learn about where it used to come from the bog land the wetland and here there's a whole with lots of birds if you come here you can see the birds maybe see rabbits hares all sorts of insects so it's a lovely place where nature uh, can thrive so in the woodland park as you as you walk along it's so interesting and you can hear the birds chirping this time of year springtime lots of birds come and they would not only have their nest but they would, this would be their habitat and there's so many woodland birds can you think of any woodland birds you might find an eagle different hawks, lots of little house birds, you've got blue tits, green tit, um, chaffinch, so many birds and they just love the trees, they love the water, they love the rough type of vegetation where they can go in and nest, they can stay, they can sleep and they can explore and they love to be with the other little birds. So many birds, so when you walk along a woodland it's away from the noise of traffic, away from people and birds absolutely love it so you can learn so much whenever you walk through Peatlands Park. So whenever we think of peat or turf, it comes from dead plant material and all around us is old dead plant and it dies and just goes into the ground and the, the rack and the turf could be eight feet below the ground and whenever it's cut up and dug up it can be used for not only burning in a fire but some people who love gardening also use peat to put in the garden because whatever comes from the peat the goodness of dead plant uses peat whenever it's dried and it can be used to help their flowers or their vegetation in their garden so there's many good things and it makes me think about life whenever you think this is dead and gone sometimes we think um, we just feel like giving up on life because we can't do our schoolwork, can't work out our homework or something and we just want to give up on it but we should never give up um, whenever we think about the Lord Jesus whenever he died he died to bring life and because of our sin the Bible says we're dead in trespasses and in sin in other words we're going to be separated from God but God so loved the world Do you know what he done he sent the Lord Jesus into the world to give us life to give us hope to give us assurance to be with God forever so even walking along around people Peatlands Park, you hear the birds, you see the trees, and even here what seems to be dead vegetation, there's still life in this here, because this is where all the insects are living, the birds are nesting, the birds are loving life, the rabbits, even squirrels and hares, they just love this type of vegetation and you'll also see new trees are planted and they're growing they're thriving on this type of land which we would often call wasteland and whenever we think about god some people think god's not relevant god's not here god's not real god is real and you have a choice to believe in god or not i do believe in god i believe the bible and the christian faith for me is a wonderful thing because it's a living relationship with god it's not about religion it's about a relationship with god and as you walk around and see deadness and see life altogether it's like life because in many every day people are dying at the same time people are being born so in every country you've got life and you've got death it's the way life works people are born they live and they die and as you go through life it's important how you live it's so important but how you die is very important as well because you can die and with the Lord Jesus in your life and in your heart which means you can live with him forever in heaven so even as you think of the little birds it's amazing all the, the wee birds as you hear them whistling and look up close to some of the birds you can see the colours, the yellow, the green, the blue, the red, the orange so perfectly designed by our creator God and a wee bird is so small and yet and God looks after them. The Bible even says how God feeds the birds and he says about a wee sparrow. The Bible says when a wee sparrow falls to the ground, God knows all about it. But it goes on to say, even though I know about the wee sparrow, how much more do I not know? I do not care for the children. So whenever God cares about the birds and cares about the animals, which he does, he cares even more so about the little children. Whenever Jonah and Nineveh 
Jonah didn't care so much about the Ninevite people, but God said to Jonah, Jonah, what about the, the children who don't know the difference between their left and the right and the animals? So God even cared about the animals too. So God loves the animals and he wants us to care for them. And that's why it's good that these people, these places are preserved for the animals and the wildlife so that they can reproduce and create and live peacefully away from away from the noise and traffic of people and noise all around us and there are many pathways through this park and there's not only pathways we can walk and uh, you can see all the wildlife but there's a railway track there's a playground it's such a wonderful place here in northern ireland where people can come and literally enjoy a day out here in peatlands park so all all throughout peatlands park there's a a railway track and there's a train that you can get that takes you all through the park and you can see almost everything it's such a brilliant day out to bring family and, and not only that but and there's lots of lakes there's a lock there's lakes there's lots of places where people where the fish can live and that means the wildlife can feed naturally off the fish so there's lakes and there's path so many pathways and signposts so whenever you come for the day it's a great family day and it's good to good healthy day out because you're walking you're breathing and fresh air and you're seeing God's handiwork God's creation everywhere you go and it's just an amazing park to go for a day out depends what time of year you come to a park here in Peatlands Park you'll find all different types of flowers different colors and this time of year you'll see all the bluebells hundreds and thousands of them all over the park absolutely beautiful and as you walk through the path and around the forest through the peatlands you'll also come across tables and these are here especially for people to rest for families to spend time together to have a picnic and lots of them have got their metal grills and of course that means for a barbecue so you can bring your own meat your own little barbecue pack and you can have a beautiful afternoon tea lunch whatever and you, and if you ever come and let me know and i'll join you and we'll get something neat because it's just an idea makes me hungry thinking about it but you think about all the different trees types of trees type of wildlife type of birds type of flowers types of pathway all going a different direction there's a there's a play park there's a train so peatlands is one of those places uh, where families that can literally spend the whole day just having a really good time and most of all surrounded in god's wonderful creation where nature abounds. Another one of our Northern Ireland 100, so many beautiful locations and spots. Let's sing our final song today and stop and let me tell you. Stop and let me tell you. tell you what the Lord has done for me and sometimes it's good to stop ponder think watch see all around you and you can see the great handiwork of God that's all for today we're back tomorrow see you